And so do I. Hello one and all and welcome back to Let's Play Planet Explorers with me, Eki Thump. We're where we left off on the abandoned Pargin ship and we are heading for the second um, search site to track down our second language sample. So last episode we made it through on pure cheese alone by skipping the boss fight. I did have to go back uh, just after ending the episode and resuscitate I think it was Layla, well one of the two anyway, who decided they weren't going to follow my plan, they were going to try and do it properly and they swam through the water and got killed by the robot shark monster or whatever it was. But I managed to rescue them so it's all good and we are on our way to um, a base with a, I can't remember what she said, but it was some kind of command center. And in the launch facility, we're going to find another example of Pargin language, which he can plug into his universal translator. He being, um, oh, what's his name? Mr. Asimov. Hello, what's this? Do you reckon that's deactivated? It looks like the remains of a giant robot. No, it's not deactivated. It's still got its marker. Maybe we should uh, give it a wide berth. We, can't, we have taken one of those on before, I think. But let's not do anything hasty. There must be... I get the impression that every biome in Planet Explorers has its own kind of super predator. Like the, um, the grasslands that where our colony is has that massive um, like lizardy sort of bird thing that keeps chasing me every time I fly somewhere on the helicopter. And almost in fact caught me when I was flying on the crappy helicopter. This biome apparently has super robots. At least they're not UFOs. Okay, it looks like we've managed to fly over the robots. Some hardcore paratrooper action. But I think we're getting close to a point where we'll need to go in on land. Okay. Oh shit, we're under fire. Oh no, it's not us. It's some of the native wildlife. They're making a meal of that. Oh, what did you have to do that for, you idiots? We could have sneaked by them, I reckon. Still, who needs stealth when you've got lasers? Alright, I think we need to get into this thing here. What are you shooting at? You're literally just shooting at the building. Okay, we need to... F I hope there's a way to walk in. Maybe I should have power dropped in. What? I'm clipping through the wall. I don't like the look of that thing. Let's kill it. I don't know what you two are doing, but could you come over here and help? Okay, here we go. We're going into the pageant launch facility. I'm expecting lots of heavy opposition.
Did you not hear that? Gee hell. That's it, come on. That was quite simple. Damn it, can't shoot through those railings. They're apparently solid, even though they don't look it. Right, where should we start searching? We probably have to go down, don't we? Yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense that whatever we're looking for would be at the bottom. So let's see if we can find a uh, likely looking way down. This will do, I guess. Wish we could zoom out. I'd like to be able to get a bit of a, a bit of a clearer view. Anything else down there? There is. These guys stand no chance. They're not even wearing armour. See you there. Let's make every shot count. Because to be honest, I'm running low on ammo. Or low ish. I've got most of one battery and about a quarter of another one. I see you there. Don't think you're hiding. Your gun's poking through the wall. Take a while to recharge. Okay, uh, anything down this long passageway? This looks right to me. This is a very odd sort of piece, isn't it? Oh, I think I see a blue a blue exclamation mark over there. This was supposed to be the peaceful option. I wonder what the war's like. Okay, we've got the goods, let's bail. Hold on, is it, where's it telling me to go? Back to the colony? Don't I have to give these to, um, what's his face? Okay, package is retrieved, evac, evac, evac. Ah shit, we're probably going to come under attack again. Retur yeah, pr return to the colony, prepare for confrontation. So I guess he's going to show up at the colony. 
He's just going to magically travel there from the desert the same way Roll did. Why are there night spiders around? It's a bit early for them. Oh shit, I've gone back in. It doesn't... It doesn't give me the option to uh, decline entering the place, just decline leaving it. So I can actually walk backwards, arse first, into the launch facility. But we want to go back out. Okay, ladies, time to roll. Well, we've actually run out of gas. Uh, once again, I had to put down in the forest. To avoid plummeting from the sky. And, oh, we've taken, apparently just destroyed a tree. This is all good. Once we get ourselves free of the... Oh shit, those fucking things. Never mind them. We're going home. We're racing the Pargens to the colony. I daren't take the Grassland Cruiser in this thick woods. How far away are we? We made it halfway home. Let's see how far we can jetpack. Well, I've, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just heading towards the arrow on the minimap. We're maintaining decent height. This is some good gliding. I think we're heading downhill, which is helping. We can glide clear of the forest. We can drive the rest of the way. Here's the Dolene. Where we got that... What the fuck did we use that crystal for that we got for Hitomi? I hope that's going to pay off at some point. Because she was very... She was very uh, suspicious about what she wanted the crystal for, wasn't she? She was very umianari about what this crystal was actually for. She never gave us a proper explanation. We just sort of moved on with the missions. We've cleared the river and we're still going. Holy shit, this is one epic glider run. We're reaching an uphill part now, though. I don't know how much longer this will last. Oh, this, there's the colony. Oh shit, we nearly made it. Nearly made it back to the colony in one glider jaunt. Come on, you can do it. Don't give up now. Ah, fuck it. I was expecting to, uh, to phase through that plant. Damn it. Denied by foliage. Never mind. We made it most of the way back. I reckon we could have made it. If we jumped off the top of one of those mountains, we could probably have glided all the way over the forest, all the way back to base. We actually, we glided from about here all the way there in one one go so as long as you start from a decent vantage point it can take you quite a long way with the appropriate tapping of 
W and S. Anyway, we're back now and we're going to get some sleep and food and then we're going to go and speak to Mr. Asimov. I like how everyone here goes to bed at like 3 in the morning. Right, food. Look at all that stuff. What's this elixir for? Like we can eat one of them and it does nothing for us. Maybe it just cures illness if we ever get ill. Um, okay. Here we are and you one of you was complaining that your bags are full. Uh, it's, I want to leave you with some food but we can take all that shit from you. I, I appreciate you picking dye for us. It means we don't have to worry about that too much ourselves next time. Oh shit, your gun's literally almost broken. Before we do anything else, actually we're going to go to the repair machine. We're going to fix up the weapons. I haven't been keeping an eye on that. Okay, uh, let's do mine first. Uh, recycle machine, repair machine. Um, actually no, we want the character screen up, don't we? Okay, so take that off. Pop it in here, and what does it need? It should have. Every we should have everything we need to fix it. Okay, prepare this item for 48 seconds. We're gonna need to make some more glass. Please say we have the materials for it. Ah, yes, we do. Repair that. Okay. Let's remember that the gun is in the repair machine. Uh, and we'll go and speak to... Um... Hey, welcome back. Ava and Peter got in a bed ago. Peter said he wanted to talk with me. I bet he does. Mr. Asimov. Uh, can I help you? You guys didn't have any problems coming back, right? Oh no, just a few large animals chasing us is all. We're used to that. Are you ready to go face off against the Pugins? I'm actually really scared, but Mama save us right there with me. I think I'll be fine. Good for you, old man. Um, yeah, you can settle at the colony settlement where we are. Hey, come back, you fucker! I'm not finished with you yet. What is it? I've got the samples. Nicely done. Now all I need to do is plug in the samples into Ava's little contraption here and voila! Okay, not really. In fact, we're still pretty far out from a 100% accurate translation program. For that, we'll still need lots more Pujan and Pajan language samples. Here, let me install the program into your mobile. And that's it. Now all you need to do is find more samples. We'll understand a lot more of the local language. Oh, just like No Man's Sky. We have to collect uh, Pujan language samples. Okay, well, that was an easy little quest. Uh, Michael. What is it? What do we do about Hyunsu? I think we should just let him be for now. As much as I dislike his behavior, I understand where he's coming from. It's rough. It is rough. How's our preparation? Everyone's tense. We didn't come here to be soldiers, you know. So I think everyone's just doing about as well as they could. I hope our story doesn't just end here. We're the protagonists, Michael, it won't. Any word from Todd? No, unfortunately. And we really could use him and Aida right now. Viola's also getting uppity with Todd gone for so long. What do you mean she's getting uppity? Like scared for his welfare? Some are. I'm still not sure what Mr. Ryong is going to do. It's really sad that even when we're faced with a common enemy, we can't put aside our differences. Yeah. What's the plan? Chen has been doing some scouting for us. The Pujan army is camped around the southern plains of their city, the one you found before. That'll be our target. Adissa and Nan are building a couple of surprises. You might want to check on them and see if there's anything you can help with. 
Once they're done, we'll move out. Farewell. Right. So the peaceful option is to launch a surprise attack on their army, which is camped out to the south of their city. I mean, the, the peaceful plan is that we're going to have a massive show of force. It's basically, it's that thing of peace through su superior firepower, which worked really well in real life. Basically, we're going to try and scare them into not attacking us. And then there'll be peace. Okay, oh Jesus, lovely weather. Um, before we go anywhere, let's see if the helicopter's done charging yet. Fifty percent. Uh, oh, while we're here, we should invite Ada to join the colony as well. Uh, yep. Okay. Looking forward to working with you. So, Ava, why did you sign up for the colony mission? Uh, <laughs> you should ask Peter. Uh, oh yeah, she uh, lost a bet. Uh, yeah, we we found out maybe ten episodes or something ago. Um, Ava basically bet against someone else that she'd join the colony mission if her robot lost a dance off, and it lost. So here she is. Uh, have the Pardians given you any trouble? We still have to watch our way around but they don't go out of their way to bother us now. I think their attention is still focused on the Puja tribes, even after all these years. Good to know. Okay, so Ava and Peter are now officially members of the colony. Now then, we need to find uh, Adissa and whoever else it was. Probably Nan. Ah, she, damn it, she's upstairs. Uh, uh. Yeah. What's your take on the situation, Odessa? I feel really sad about it. All the colonists that we know, gone just like that. But then I tried putting on the other shoe and I can see why the Pujans attacked us. It's a tragic situation to be in. Us all having to fight for our survival. Yeah, tragic. Absolutely tragic. I hear you're making a super weapon. Well, it's not exactly a super weapon. We're not supposed to have the technical know-how here to make them. Gotta remember that we're mostly civilian tech back in the system. But you know me. I learned a thing or two outside of official channels. We're gonna make a mini nuke. A mini nuke. Uh, once again, just to highlight, this is the peaceful option. A nuke, is that ethical? Don't worry, as much as I dislike them right now, we're not going to nuke them. Michael was also adamant about that. It's a weapon of last resort, but it does offer quite the light show. So during the negotiations, we'll drop it off somewhere far. Let them see who they're dealing with. This plan is becoming so outlandish. During the negotiations, we're going to set off a mini nuke somewhere that they can see the explosion uh, to demonstrate that we have nukes. What of the radiation? Hey, hey, don't think I went to school for nothing, okay? I'm designing a pure fusion nuke, very little radiation. If they loaded the nuke scripts onto our ship, things would be a lot easier. But they didn't, so I'm stuck here doing it by hand. Anyway, I was wondering, while you're here, can you go make me some hydrogen? I think that weapon might need lots of that. Sure. Here, take this. It's a mobile water pump script. It'll make your job a lot easier. Uh, build a hydrogen bomb. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, hydrogen. We just need a bit of water. That's all, really. Okay, um, mobile water pump. I'm not sure if I have one of those already. I've got so much shit in my inventory. Look at all this. Uh, hydrogen script we already have. What the fuck did I just learn? Uh, I guess that was the water pump script. Uh, oh, apparently I have two of those now. Did I already have one? Uh, 
Well, where is it? Ah, here it is. Mobile water pump. It goes on our back. Uh, I guess... Well, it's, it's kind of a weapon as well. Okay, so this is for sucking up water. It's Despite what it looks like, it's not a high-tech watering can. Gotcha. Did I get the gun out of the repair machine? I did. Well, we could just ask the minions to go and fetch some water, but let's do this the proper way. Let's get the, grass the grassland cruiser out and have a jaunt down to the beach. Uh, if I can remember where I put the grassland cruiser, here it is. Uh, okay, might as well leave the car there. Okay, well this is easy. It does actually sound like a vacuum cleaner. Okay. That was a lot of water we just sucked up. Have we got enough yet? We need like 140 hydrogen. Uh, oh, we need to consume battery packs. We're going to use up both our battery packs to make this. We can only make it in lots of a hundred, so I guess, yeah, we have to do that. Oh, we still we still have a one pack on us. Did I not give the ladies back their battery packs? That's why I had extras on me. Well, she's still got one. Huh? Well, we need to make more battery packs then, to replace those two. Uh, limiting factor silver. I'm sure we've got silver back at the base. Yeah, we'll just grab some when we go back. Okay, that should be the hydrogen we need. Uh, next up, well, I think I can, I can check what we've got in storage, even though I can't actually issue the full range of orders. Oh, we've got two batteries in storage anyway, I can sneak one of those. Yeah, that's fine. We're okay. Oh, Jesus. We're in a bit of a pickle. Help. Ugh. I think we might have to dig ourselves free. Okay. We escaped. Okay, just so we have hydrogen. Here's the hydrogen that you asked for. Excellent. I think the device is ready to go. Of course, we don't have time to test this out, but hopefully it's the last one I'll ever make. Yeah, I certainly hope so. Uh, where's the other guy?
Oh, it's not uh, Nan, it's Chen. Oh no, it is Nan. What's up? What are you working on? Furnishing up on new engines and weapons for a heavy Vitol craft. Did Michael tell you I needed some help with this? Since you have the experience, can you use the creations editor to build me a Vitol model using the new engine and weapons part? Yeah, I wouldn't call myself experienced. Alan. That's very silly. What we're we doing? Build an attack craft. Airship thruster, missile silo, fuel cell type 4. Oh, well, there's the missile silo script that was missing when I downloaded the Spectre. Hey. Uh, not you, Alan. Great. Now I'll just replicate a few more of these and we'll have ourselves an air wing. I put them into your inventory. Can you park them around the colony? I'll go inform Michael that we're done here. Uh. What? Are you fucking kidding me? He's... That is our air fleet. I mean, Jesus shit, Nan. Does that look like... Yeah, okay, the fucking... Earth, Mars, Colonial Defense Force fucking air fleet. Here we are. Let's have four of those. That's a terrifying sight for any bloody Pujan invaders, isn't it? Jesus Christ. I mean... Couldn't you have at least picked the Spectre? I know it's not up to spec with how it was designed, but it's better than that fucking thing. Oh, Jesus. Never mind. Well, that's the quest complete. Anyway, hope we're not relying on those. Where's Michael gone? Is he in the... No, he can't be in the control room. Where the fuck has he gone? Oh yeah, he is. He's in the control room. He's in there at the moment. He's going to phase through the wall by the time we get there. Yeah, he's fucking disappeared again. Michael! He's inside the bloody wall, isn't he? Yeah, that, Michael is in there somewhere. Hey, Michael, hey. how you doing? What'll happen if we have to fight? We'll probably all be dead real soon, so let's hope it doesn't come to that. Seems like preparations are complete. Okay, you'll be with me the whole time. We'll be doing the negotiations. We'll start a little ways off from their main encampment so that no one's startled. The rest of our colonists will fall a little behind. If stuff starts hitting the fan, We'll need to figure out how to get out of there quick. See to it that you're prepared. Come talk to me when you're ready. Oh, this is going to go so badly. Okay, well... I'm just curious... I'm actually curious now if he's going to order everyone onto those fucking crappy choppers that I've got parked outside. So, I'm actually... I was going to end the episode there, but let's just trigger this mission and see what happens next. Michael. Yeah? Let's do it. All right, let's everyone. do it to it. We'll execute this just like we planned. Stay alert and may God be with us. Okay. Negotiate with the Pooja. I think Michael's coming with us. Let's see. Ah, oh, I've got so I've got a bit of time left for this episode yet. Yeah, I think we will we'll go and negotiate with the Pooja. Here we are. 
seems like we have their attention. All we get there ring. Alpha one, check check. Alpha two, standing by. Alpha three, five by five. Alpha four, um, I'm here. Is the bomb ready? The package has been delivered. Movement ahead. We'll see what they're gonna do. We'd better get out of here quick if they play hardball. Gotta stock up on herbs. Yeah. Gotta stock up on herbs. Most important thing in this situation. I'm just waiting to see all four of those fucking crappy choppers come riding in to the sound of Ride of the Valkyries. Oh look, these Pooja have got names. Well, they're not shooting yet. Time to see if Ava and Peter's work paid off. Hello. How do you know our language? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a terrifying show of force that is. These fucking things. Why does it matter? We should just wipe them out. They are nothing. Quiet OIOP. Why are you here, Sky People? Are you old beings called forth by the... Are you old beings called forth by the Parjan Nation? Why did you attack us? You... Unk, think you can just waltz around on our land? Unk, who own... Like you own it? You did as uh, you did something to our sacred site. You attacked our cows, our people, dig up our resources and build strange things in our land. You think we will stand by for that? We meant no harm. We don't want to fight you. We even offered you a tribute before. Saying that with a straight face after killing so many of our brethren, you take us for fools. Quiet. Sky person, we did not want to... <laughs> we did not want to shed blood, but you left us with no choice with your actions. The coastal forests were pivotal to our economy and defence. You simply took it from us. A few pieces of fruit does not make up for that. We want to leave. We want you to leave here as soon as possible. We didn't know it was your land, but we need a place to stay. I'm saddened it's come to this, but we cannot accept that. Not when we're in a position of strength. Then there is nothing more to say. Let us decide this on the battlefield. Are you sure you want to walk away? You are in no position to dictate to us on any terms. Be gone. Are you sure you want to fight us? Let me give you a simple demonstration of our power. Light the fuse, Adissa. Is there going to be a shockwave or... It's very pretty. I'd like some sound with it. Kablooey! What in the... It's God's fire from the scriptures. Dot dot dot. We did not wish to fight you. We still don't. We are willing to put the past behind us. But I promise you that if you hurt any more of our people, we will show you no mercy. 
If we do not negotiate a peace, we will use that on you. You speak peace, yet you carry God's fire. Even if you have that, you are but a few. We will still win. That may be true, but is it worth the cost? Getting rid of a threat such as you may well be worth it. I have seen your I have seen you bleed, little man. Stop it, Commander. I really shouldn't have brought you. You are the one who came to our land, Sky Person. You obviously are powerful. We don't want to fight you. It is not worth our energy, as we have been in a war with Pargens for a long time. However, you can't expect us to just give you the forests. We are only here temporarily. We are going to the northern continent. That may be so, but we don't know how long you will be here. We cannot dig our iron, cut our lumber while you're on our lands. We do not want to fight you, but we will if we must. The Elder is speaking in tongues. While you're here, you're disrupting our economy and defence. We want some compensation. What do you want? We want access to iron and timber. We have seen you pluck them up from the earth at incredible speeds. I assume you want your captured friends back. We will release them as a goodwill gesture. Yes. We want our people back intact. We also want the person David Sly. There's no way we will give you any weapons, but we are willing to trade iron and timber with you. David has told us much about you. He warned us of you. We will not give him to you. Unless you give us weapons... You fool. That can be arranged. We will consider it. Let us talk amongst ourselves for a bit. Okay, well, it went better than I was anticipating, let's be honest. What's up? What do you think of these three? I think the one called Oipi is a serious hawk. We should be wary of him. The Elder and the other guy seemed pretty wise, though. Hey! That went well, all things considered. We're not fighting yet, so that's progress. I think that bomb really worked in our favor. Whatever Sly told them, he didn't know we were able to make a fusion bomb. I think we will end up getting most of what we want, which is peace. We have decided not to give you the Sky Person David. We will, however, let you talk to him. We also want 3,000 units of iron and 3,000 units of timber as the condition for peace. We agree to these terms. From now on, we will no longer attack any of you Sky People unless attacked. We do want access to the forests. Agreed. We also demand that you do not help the Pargens in any way in our war. Reasonable. Agreed. However, we reserve the right to have a diplomatic relationship with them. They are but uncivilized savages. Do what you will, as long as we're not targeted. But I warn you, we will be watching. We want our people released unconditionally right now. I'll see to it. Where... where... Where is it that you Sky People came from? We have many questions. Sky Person David refused to answer some of our questions. Somewhere very far away. We would also like to learn more about you. We would like to set up a meeting among scholars to exchange some information. That is a possibility. Ah, here they come. We've treated them well, per Sky Person David's request. Here they come. Tank Parson, don't know who that is. Kayla and David. Let Kayla entertain them with some fine beats. Hello. So, what do we do next? Are you guys okay? They didn't hurt you. We're okay. Thank you for releasing them. I'm glad we've come to an understanding today. We will send over the resources right away, and I hope we don't come to any more conflict in the future. Sky Person here will be our envoy to your people from now on. Sky Person.
We understand. We will welcome Sky Person Ecky Thump as a special guest. Now, to complete our agreement, we'll need a trial of blood. And what is that? They don't even know what that is. Both parties of the, agree of the agreement will need to defeat an offering. Since this agreement's scope is significant, the offering will need to match. Pehikio Yo here will be our representative. Who will be your representative? Okay. At least we're not fighting each other. What do you think? Are you guys okay? They didn't hurt you. We're okay. Thank you for release. And what is that? Okay. Gotta stock up on herbs. Uh, I'll do it. Eki Thump will be our representative. Good. Release the offering. Show me what you've got, Sky Person. What? Oh shit, fucking hell. I thought I was gonna fight Be hey hey ho ho. Fuck this thing. Damn it, I wish we had a high capacity battery. Stop dying, you fucking idiots. You can't tank it, just dodge it. Shoot it in the ass, come on. That's the effective place to shoot it, I think, behind the neck there. You are worthy. Our peace agreement is sealed with blood. We will honour it as long as you honour it. And there goes the fleet. Thank you. We will now return to our base. We will send our envoy soon with the resources. Come on, let's get back to the colony. Roger that, let's head back everyone. Okay, so, progress. Um, hold on. What's that there? Oh, they're just walking home. Yeah, that's right. Plebs, you walk. We're going in the, uh, the actual good helicopter. I'm glad those things didn't actually have to fight. So, those of you who have started watching the series recently haven't seen those yet. Those four fuck awful, basically planks of wood with roses attached to them. They're the uh, demonstration helicopter I made back in, it was like episode one of Beta 0 0.1. And for some reason, Nan just decided that that was good enough to fulfill the criteria of a quote unquote attack craft. Despite it having no weapons. I mean, it, 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 it is a VTOL craft. Are they going to land or are they just going to float in the air forever? Okay, let's grab that. Somehow that plan worked. We actually found a way of deploying nuclear weapons for peaceful intent. Uh, the front door's here. Alright, debrief time. Where the shit is... I assume it's Michael I'm supposed to be talking to. Where's he gone?
Oh, whatever. Um, let's go and speak to whoever this is outside. Peter Asimov. Huh? Your translator's great. I'm glad it worked to spec. Now, it'll be up to you to find more language samples and make it even better. Superb. Um, oh. Actually, you had a, another thing. What will you do now? Go back west? Ava and I are going to hang with Adisa and Nan to finish up their McTalk project. Michael told us to get this thing up in the air ASAP. I can't remember if we've ever been told what the McTalk project is. That's certainly the first I've heard of it, as far as I know. Okay, Generalissimo Wiles. What do you want now? Um, should I go get the resources, to them? Yes, if you would please. Take what we have in our colony storage. If that's not enough, you'll need to get some on your own. Here's a drill script. It might be of help to you. This thing digs very fast, but won't get you any resources. Gotcha. While Lei was working on it before he passed. Okay, it's good. So it's good at removing terrain, and that's it. What do you want now? What do we need to ask of this them? This Copperfield has been very curious regarding the recent revolutionary path of the planet. Now that we know about the GRV and the virus makers, we need to figure out what effects they had on the local society so that we can warn Earth about it. When you get the chance, tell them we're interested in that. Yeah, okay. That does sound like a reasonable idea. I didn't even think of that. The, the aliens who launched the GRV at this planet might want to launch it at Earth one day. Are the prisoners okay? Yes. Seems like the Pujans were true to their words. The prisoners were treated well. Mr. Aslanov was telling me some interesting theories regarding the Pujan's behavior from his observations while being held prisoner. You might want to have a chat with him. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Uh, how's Hyun, Hyun Su handling the peace? He's left the colony with Tawa to go back to the Martian colony. I'm not sure what he wants to do, but we have more pressing matters to worry about. So, we have peace, now what? Make it last, hopefully. We still need to proceed with our plan to find the rest of the colonists and make our way I to the new continent. On top of that, we're going to have to be extra careful of the GRV virus makers. Who knows what they're up to? Wall said there should be more GRV ships on this continent. I want you to go look for them and take them out. Where do we even start to look for them? Well, I was thinking maybe we could get that intel from the Pujans. Uh, copy that. Yeah, oh, talk to Losja. So, should we give them the GRV vaccine? No, at least not yet. We need to know if the virus is still affecting them. This might sound self-serving, which it is, but we need to figure out if by stopping the virus, do they go back to being very intelligent? Is that good or bad for us? Um, they already seem pretty intelligent to me. Anything else that I should talk to the Pujans about? Ask them if they want to trade with us. We should use everything in our diplomatic arsenal to extend this peace, and trade is a pretty important carrot. A damn important carrot. Okay, well, that'll do for this episode. We've engaged in some nuclear peacemaking. We've deployed a terrifying fleet of four planks of wood with rotors attached. I think I need some sleep. Uh, that's enough for one day's work, I think. So, this will be the last Planet Explorers episode before Christmas. There's going to be a break of a few days while I'm away. Well, I um, won't be uploading any videos. But it was a, a rather optimistic note to end on, I think. John Lennon would approve, I'm sure. War is over, if we want it, at least with one faction on the planet. So, until next time, I've been Eki Thump, and this has been Planet Explorers. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more gameplay of this game. And I will see you next time, and have a very Merry Christmas.